hello guys good to see you again in our channel so today we are going to talk about interview questions related to azure data factory do's and don'ts in your interviews and the scenario based questions so if you are looking forward to any of the interviews make sure that you watch these videos and i'm also going to tell you what to do and what not to do okay so without wasting much time let's jump in and see uh, what are my recommendations for any of the interview if you are appearing for okay so first thing first have some hands-on experience before you appear for interview do not always depend on the terms or interview questions or videos or all the things if your interviewer has hands-on experience he will definitely find out that you have just come in with some theoretical knowledge so even though it's good to see all this uh, videos and everything but you should have some hands-on experience and there are a lot of uh, platforms available where you can do all these things okay second thing be thorough on your use case so first thing interviewer will ask you is what work you have done in your current project so you have to explain what you have done what is your role how your application works so you should be very thorough if you are already working on it and but you have not got chance to understand it end to end try to understand that before you appear for, for any of the interview he does not care that which component you actually work on he wants to know that how well you understand your own system okay now third one is go through tutorial videos as much as possible because we know that in our day-to-day uh, -day scenarios or working projects you do not get chance to work on anything and everything however the, the place where you are going for interview he and expects that you should have knowledge if you have not working if you don't have working knowledge that is still fine but you should have at least a knowledge you should you should have gone through those tutorial videos so that in case something comes up in future you should be able to take it up so you have to show that intent that yes you have you have that learning ability and you with a, with very little effort or with little guidance you can take it up and you can do it fourth thing be honest do not try to make stories do not try to fake it that you have done something if you have not done it because interviewer is expert enough experience enough to find out that you are lying okay if you do not know something it is very much okay to say that you don't know it okay it's it is all right completely nobody can know everything rather than trying to give guess trying to do a guesswork and give a wrong answer better say that you have not got a chance to work on it now i know you all are waiting for interview questions so i have tried to divide it in multiple sections uh, to broadly categorize those things so we'll see so these are the topics which we'll try to cover and if this video goes too long i uh, will try to split it into two or maybe three but i will try to uh, cover most of the things which i have come across from my community so stay with us till the end and it is not only for those people who are going to appear in interview it is going to help other people who are actually working on day-to-day -day, uh, projects and they will also come across multiple different scenarios which we they want help for so let's see how, how it goes okay so first thing first again uh, during interview as you data factory uh, especially there are some building blocks of Azure Data Factory like pipeline, link services, data set, how you parameterize it, what are the variables, global parameters, integration runtime. So your first few questions will always revolve around these. You need to be knowing that what is pipeline, what is link service what is data set so if you are already working on this thing you would definitely know this if you are very new let me try to give a small brief of all these things so what is pipeline pipeline is your logical grouping of all the activities which you have stitched together to perform your end goal suppose you are going to copy data from oracle to sql server in between you might have done many prerequisites you might have to do some lookup you have to do filtering you have to use some if conditions all those things you'll put together and you'll create a single pipeline so that is what you will call a pipeline now second one what is the link service link service is very very important thing whenever you are trying to connect to a source or your destination you need to know how to connect that so every 
source or destination will have its own authentication or authorization mechanism so those details are encapsulated in your link service now next what is data set data set defines the metadata of your source or the sync azure data factory wants you to predefine that what kind of data you are going to ingest from your source so once you have created a link services you have to tell the data set data set comes as a second step after link service once you have defined the link service it will ask for a data set suppose you have created a link service of storage account set suppose data lake gen 2 now your data set when you're going to create a data set you have to select your link service and based on that it will tell you which all different kinds of file it supports so i'm going to show you a link service data set and all this thing once we cover this slide so stay with us now what is parameter right parameter as the name suggests that something which you want to make dynamic you want to pass from one activity to other or it can be one pipeline to other pipeline those are the places which where you use parameters so that's what you have to tell this is parameter what is variable on top of parameter azure data factory also provides you a way to define variables for its internal usage now the small difference or the difference between parameter and variable is that you can pass a parameter from the outside when you are triggering your pipeline you can pass a parameter but you cannot pass a variable right variable you have to define in the, your pipeline and within the pipeline you have to set it and you have to use it so that's the basic difference now what is global parameter this is a relatively new feature which azure data factory has introduced global parameter is something where you have a data factory which has maybe 10 or 20 different pipelines and the common thing is that you are you are going ahead and defining same parameter in all the pipelines to eliminate that need azure data factory has come up with a global parameter you can define a parameter at azure data factory level and you can use it across all your pipelines now what is integration runtime so integration runtime is something which provides azure data factory a compute power because all the operation the processing which we are going to do through azure data factory it needs a compute and this is where you will be charged so the more integration uh, runtime time you use for your processing the more cost it will be and we'll go to the details of integration runtime different types of integration runtime but this is the basic question which can come across now let's quickly jump on to azure data factory and see these components working so that you will remember all these things so this is how your azure data factory looks like so here if you see there is you can see pipelines data set data flows and template so we'll not talk about data flows and template at this moment see the pipeline and the data set right this is what we talked about so if you have to create a new pipeline you simply have to go here and say new pipeline and then you have to define all your activities and same with the data sets i'll show you about the link service so link service whenever somebody asks any question about the link service you have to go here need link services and you can see here all the things which are supported this is our next category of questions there will be a lot of questions about the connectivity and the source and destination it supports so simple thing if you want to answer that kind of question you go to your data factory go to link service and then see browse it there are hundreds and hundreds of different connectors for each different sources and destination anything which you see here is supported by azure data factory then next we talked about the data set and different file types right so once you have created your link service you go to data set i have chosen data uh, link service as data lake so data lake now you can see which all file formats are supported now whatever you see here is supported by data factory if somebody says oh can i can i copy data from uh, csv to sql yes i can can i copy data from excel yes can I copy data from JSON? Yes. XML, Parquet, ORC, Abro. And this is a growing list. So tomorrow you may come back and find a new one. Then we talked about the parameters. So if you are in the pipeline, you will see options, parameters, variables, and output. This is where you define your parameters. And this is where you define variables. If you want to see your global parameter, it will be shown here in the global parameters. Right now I have not defined anything. Yeah, oh sorry, I have already defined one. So this is a global parameter. This is how you can define it. And this is where you will see all your integration runtimes. 
now let's come to our next section which is dynamic pipeline so most of the time in bigger enterprises you will not be creating a data factory or a pipeline which will do only single uh, workflow like from source to destination you will always be needed to parameterize your pipeline link service data set everything so if the question is can we parameterize yes we can parameterize each and everything and the expectation from you is that you should be aware of all this thing how to parameterize so first question is can we parameterize as soon as you say yes he will ask you how to parameterize so we have a separate video also in detail how to parameterize your link services how to parameterize your data sets everything you can go through that for the for a, a deeper uh, look but here let me show you very quickly this is my link service to azure sql server and now you can see here in the bottom section we have a parameter so i can define a parameter and i can pass it so that i don't have to hard code my connections this is one way of parameterizing so each and every different kind of link service will have different parameters and different parameterization this is not something which is the same across different kinds of link services so that you need to be aware of similarly for data set if you go to data set connection schema and parameter you need to go to parameter section you have to create your parameter and you have to come back to connection and you have to use the parameter this is how you parameterize your data set so many questions will come around parameterization so be prepared for it so one question i think we didn't talk about is how to pass parameter from one pipeline to other pipeline so there is very common practice that you may not be able to achieve everything within one pipeline and you will have to create a child pipeline and we will talk about those scenarios also and there is definitely a way to pass your parameter from one pipeline to other pipeline 